I want to first wish everyone a happy Independence Day. Okay. Now, I know that there's a group of you out there, uh, Democrats and some rhinos that want to boycott the 4th of July. So let me get this straight. The last of our independence, this Independence Day, you want us to boycott this. When you fail to listen to us, you chose to listen to fake news media that convinced you that Trump was a racist, that he was the bad guy, that he was trying to destroy your democracy and all of this madness. You guys are out there protesting, looting, stealing, burning things down. And now, after being warned so many times, you're now complaining about the high gas prices and you're complaining about the inflation when you refuse to listen when we told you, we warned you not to vote for the Democrat Party. We are losing our freedoms. Our Second Amendment, our First Amendment rights to even speak. We have videos on the internet, even on TikTok, being banned for speaking opinions. We're not hurting no one. The only people that's being hurt are the ones that have opposing views. So now you're going to have our videos removed, have our freedoms taken away from us. And you want us to give up our last bit of independence, our last bit of freedom, the 4th of July. Regardless of what you may think, what type of ideas you may have, listen, I'm a veteran. If anybody that should be complaining are veterans, because there are many veterans that have died. I have friends that died in combat defending the freedom of this world. And you have the audacity to now want me to give up my freedom, my independent day, when not long ago, I was on my deathbed. When I had that so-called virus, my family was leaving food and water on my porch. Couldn't even see me. I was on the brink of death. That, that Thanksgiving, the food I bought for the family gathering, I had to leave that on the porch for my family to come and get because I could not enjoy Thanksgiving with my family. And I'm not one to celebrate holidays. I don't celebrate holidays. But at that moment, at that point in my life, it made me realize how important these days are. They seem small to you. But these are some very important days where you have the opportunity to spend time with your loved ones and your family members. I have family members that's not even here now. They can't even enjoy this freedom. And now you want me to give up my Independence Day because you refuse to listen. You chose to vote Biden into office. You chose to support Kamala Harris. You chose to to, to vote Democrat. And now you want me to give up my independent day. You want me to give up the right now to spend the day with my family. You talk like a fool. As a matter of fact, I had a cookout today in my backyard and I'm going to have another cookout today in a few minutes. Preparing right now, waiting for my family to get here. So you talk like a fool. If you choose to give up your freedoms, your independence, that's on you. But I did not fight for this country to give up my freedoms. I did not fight for this country to give up my freedoms, the same freedoms that you enjoy. One thing I've learned when I came back from overseas was that the average typical American have no idea what they have. The immigrants that's coming here, 
the illegal immigrants that's risking their lives to come to this country have more awareness of the freedoms here in America than the so-called American born. They're trying to get here to enjoy the same freedom that you are now giving up. And you have the audacity to again want me to give up my day. I'm getting ready to go put, uh, clean that grill, light that grill up, and I'm cooking. <laughs> so happy Independence Day to those of you and for you Democrats and you rhinos out there, Republicans in name only. I have nothing to say to you. This is your band. And listen, I'm going to tell you something else, too. I told you guys a long time ago, don't bet on black. For some reason, black folk always, the majority, many black folk make wrong choices, bad decisions. And then you think, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to protest with you. You talk like a fool.